how's it going guys? Uh, my name is Michael Shanebloom and I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about curves and how to create a cross-processing look for your photographs. I do this effect a lot for almost all of my photographs, um, whether it be you know, an, a nice subtle color change or completely changing all the highlights and dark areas of my images. We're going to start off and uh, go ahead and go down to our adjustments and go to curves. It's going to create an adjustment right over our background layer. Now we have our curves open and uh, I'll explain a little bit about curves just, uh, just really briefly. So basically curves can control everything from color to contrast and uh, you can darken your image or brighten it up, you know, as you can see, I'm brightening it by bringing this, uh, this line up and darken it going the opposite way and adding contrast by adding this point in the middle and uh, creating another point right here and moving this around, I can control the contrast and lower it or make it greater. But what we want to do with curves is we want to go and click this little tab that says RGB and we want to mess around with these colors the red the green and the blue um, my personal preference is to go into blue start off by clicking on this line just right in the middle uh, and then dragging this point out and what this is gonna do is add some yellows to the highlights and as you can see you know I move this point out uh, the curve changes and uh, it also affects the darker areas down here so what I'm doing by doing this is I'm making the highlights yellow and I'm making the shadows blue and I can move this out too as you can see the shadows are becoming very very blue what I like to do is just leave the shadows very subtle I'll, I'll keep this you know maybe a little bit out and uh, I'll move this out to maybe about there just so we have some nice yellows in the highlights and I'll actually move this point this is the um, right here this is pretty much 255 which is lost detail in the pixels this is the whitest point of the image and I like to drag this out a little bit and then just make it so all the highlights in my image are completely yellow um, not too much to where you know obviously if I drag this all the way down I mean you know that just looks really unrealistic and you know it just doesn't look good but I think a little bit works nicely what I also like to do is click and go into the red channel right here do the same thing that I did before and, uh, experiment with this sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of reds in the highlights and some cyans this is uh, you know the further I drag this out the more cyan the image gets so I like to drag that out uh, sometimes add a little bit of cyan to the image I think that looks nice so there's the original, original just uh, raw color. I, I edited the contrast a little bit uh, before I brought this image into Photoshop. I did a little bit of Lightroom, but uh, nothing to the colors. And there's our nice cross-process look. Just remember, you can do this effect as subtly or as drastically as you want. I tend to use it a lot. Uh, some images I'll, you know, mess with the colors a lot or, and some of them I'll just I'll just do this effect and you can even change the opacity on this curves adjustment I mean if you don't like it that high you can just there you go there's 50 percent and uh, you can still see the difference um, I'm also going to do this uh, effect to one other image that I have open this image right here obviously it's not the, the best image in the world but it's good for the example I want to show this sky doesn't look very nice um, you know, most of the time you want a perfectly exposed sky, but for this image, it's really, really overexposed. It, the sky is just completely white. 
but what we can do is in curves and this is personal preference if you don't like what I'm about to show you just you know forget I even uh, made this last part of the tutorial but I mean I think it looks pretty good so I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, same thing as last time just making a curves adjustment going to the, the blue tab clicking on the middle and then dragging this out and this is gonna do the same thing as before but this time I'm gonna drag this point right here, this point, um, the whitest area of the image, and drag this all the way down. So my highlights are just completely yellow. And for me, I really like what this does to the sky. I mean, you guys might not like it, but um, I think it gives it a nice effect. And I'm also going to do the same thing I did before. This right here. Maybe a little bit more cyan to the darker areas. And it's just kind of an interesting effect. Um, anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Hope I was clear enough. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to comment or message me. I'm always available, always willing to answer questions. And also, if you'd like to see more, check out my other videos or check out my website. I will, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Anyways.